Right. Well, uh, today we're on the uh, <coughs> King Song. Uh, we're riding the King Song 16X, and uh, I'm planning to do uh, effectively what is my milk run. It's uh, my ride into my local town, Helston. Um, and uh, we've got a couple of couple of things that are new, relatively new here. I've got uh, uh, my mobile phone Velcro to the top of the machine here. And if you can see that, uh, it's running uh, EUC World, and uh, it's plugged into the uh, USB port on the front, so the thing won't go flat. Uh, I'm starting the journey with about 53% battery. This is all right, but I'm not going far. Okay, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll go. Right. That's all right. Right, so we're. We're off to Helston. I say I've got uh, EUC world running. I've got a I've got an extra camera today on the front of my uh, EUC, and uh, I'm hoping that will make more interesting shots. Negotiate some uh, grassy bits. <laughs> and uh, we've got another bit coming up, just got to go over a little path here. There we go. But, uh, right. So, um, one of the, one of the raisins, uh, recording this um, I, I don't know if you've been following my videos but I've been I've been riding for over a year now but uh, haven't been getting in as much practice as I should have done should be riding this every day and I'm not doing that anything like not only that 63 not as nimble as I was when I was younger I think it takes you longer to learn so, you know, not, not, uh, never going to ride like uh, some of the people you can see in these videos that are very skilled indeed. But that doesn't mean to say I don't want to improve my skills. So, you know, I'm riding with cameras, recording what I'm doing, experimenting with different things like the UC World. So we've got, we've got a car coming here. So, uh, whoop, he, that that uh, just worked out well. I just managed to slow it down enough so he could get past me. So I could go, go forward behind him. Anyway, so like I say, what I've done is I've velcroed a mobile phone to the, uh, to the Kingsong 16X and uh, I'm using that for my tour recording and uh, you know generally I've got a I've got a pebble watch on my wrist which is linked to a UC world and I'd recommend that to anybody because just look at your wrist you can see how fast you're going and you can see the state of your battery which are the two things I really want to keep an eye on when I'm riding um, and that works. Not only that, the pedal watch is out of production now. You can still get them second hand. 
but one of the good things is you can see the displays in broad daylight and uh, the battery doesn't go flat for days so I thoroughly recommend that Rebel support the software now Rebel have uh, since gone out of existence and uh, setting up the software is a little bit of a fat but um, EC World, Sebastian is, does EC World he's done a couple of videos on how to set up the watch and other people have as well if you go to YouTube so you know it's, it's not, not a deal breaker so I, I recommend that now last time I rode this um, last time I rode this I tried some power pads for the first time and uh, just I just wanted to know what they were like really inevitable at some point right So, uh, and I have to say, I've got, now I have to get this straight, I'm not, not a particularly good rider, so power pads for me, okay. But anyway, I thought I'd give them a go, I put them on the machine, it took a little while to work out exactly the right positioning, and having done that, yeah, well, okay, fine. You know, when you're just riding around like I am now, you'd hardly be aware that the pads are there. Now, when you accelerate, you go forward, um, actually, you have to be accelerated reasonably hard and, uh, you know, reasonably aggressively to find the pad at all. I've absolutely no doubt that when you do so, uh, they're going to work really well. And it's the same thing with brakes. I don't like this bit. There's an incline that goes off to my left here. And it throws me. It really does. Going across the slope. There you go. That's finished. I need to box now. Anyway, so uh, so like I say, with the power pad, same thing with the braking. You don't have to lean back quite as hard to find the pad. And uh, when you do, yeah, yeah, I guess. But really. Of, uh, the strength of braking I'm looking for and the amount of acceleration I'm looking for really didn't think I was going to use so power pad for me at least was uh, a waste of time now the other thing it has or some of the pads have is a jump block at the bottom and uh, this hooks you into the wheel well hooks you in it's still above your foot but uh, what it means jump the wheel or if, you, if you can jump the wheel I'm not sure I'm not capable of jumping wheels but um, you, you can lift the wheel with your foot and you're staying engaged with the wheel even when the wheel is in the air well, well I, I don't do that quite frankly uh, that that uh, lift pad that lift block has also got another advantage in the, well it's got a couple of other advantages it uh, if you hit a bump especially an unexpected bump and uh, the wheel's attempting to throw you off that is uh, you, you leave contact with the pad that block is going to keep you in contact with the wheel so it's less likely an unexpected bump is going to throw you off the wheel wearing those things they also index your feet so when you put your foot on the pad you're always finding the same same place on the pedal because of those pads now what i don't like is that i have trouble getting on and off this wheel as it is but you know they do interfere with putting your foot on the pedal a little bit you don't come up quite right uh, you will catch the pad <laughs> which I don't like um, so in the end I've taken them off I'm back to riding without the pads and as I'm riding it today I'm finding it I already like it better um, I, haven't, I haven't got rid of the pads uh, maybe I'll come back to it again another day but for the minute 
Ah, uh, ride it as it is. So, uh, we're at uh, Colgrove's main gate. Now there's a step down here and I'm not... The problem is what's coming down there, so... I could go down that curve, but I prefer not having to look immediately behind me. I prefer to uh, just step off the wheel. That was very good, was it? Never mind. So, uh, so there we are. So we're experimenting with some new things. There's a, there's a line on the tarmac just there where two surfaces come together and the wheel train tracks and it hits it. So I noticed it before. not unexpected anymore, I kind of just go, oh yeah, I was not it, didn't like it. Okay, so we're on the road surface here, it's smoother, a road, path, cycle path. do it from up here so we go right left right left now it's just just practice now really you don't have to do it quite that much just a, a gentle weave just continuously either side of the line this way that way, I'm going to change my camera over to the other hand in a minute and do 12 mile an hour. This is uh, my milk run, I call it that, it's a, it's a trip that's immediately from my home, it just goes into town. Uh, the Cold Rose Air Base, we've got some very fit young lads and ladies in there, and uh, they, they cycle and run this path on a regular basis, and as a consequence, I think the military keep it in quite good order, most of it, certainly from the air base into Helston, the tarmac's in good order, it's quite wide, it's got a pedestrian and a cycle route and uh, it makes for a very very good track for me, it keeps me off that road. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a big one for riding on the road, uh, you know you're not, it's like, it's like you're on the cycle really, uh, you're not too slow, uh, not keeping up with the traffic. Years ago when I was running around on motorcycles, uh, bigger motorcycles, you know, from the, the, the one I started on. And you're keeping up with the traffic, more than keeping up with the traffic. You're not worried about what's coming past you or behind you all the time. Whereas on a cycle, especially in Cornwall, because you've got high hedgerows, you've got absolutely nowhere to go when you're inside most of the time. Okay, so um, that was interesting. What happened there was uh, I was just riding back on the track there and uh, I thought the wheel beeped at me and I was going, I was just accelerating a little bit and uh, going a little bit faster 
and uh, I got the beeps. I thought it was a wheel giving me a speed warning. I was impressed at that. That's because I thought, really? Speed warning? How my king's on? And then don't get that very often. So anyway, but it wasn't. It was uh, it was the GoPro. So uh, Gonna do a little experiment now. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna uh, roll into Tesco's and buy ourselves a sandwich. See how we go. Yeah. What do you reckon, guys? I reckon uh, ham, no mayonnaise, that's no good. Beef and horseradish. Uh, hmm. See, see something I like there in a minute. Smoked ham and cheddar, beef and horseradish. Maybe beef and horseradish. Beef and horse radish. Hopefully. No, card only, card only. Yeah, working for self service. Just change, just change for a sandwich, that's all. Oh, yeah, just go through to that queue if that's alright. Okay, the short one. <laughs> Last of the big spenders. Okay. You okay with change or? Yeah, absolutely fine with change. Okay. Only two fifty. Two pound fifty. Do you want a cup card? Do you? No, don't worry about that. Okay. She's running away. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Right, so there we are. Tesco's on the King's Bar 16 to buy a sandwich. <laughs> Don't think I'll eat it with a mask on now, do you? What do you think? Okay, so we're we're up and running again. Tesco's bought my sandwich. Now we're just going to ride back.
phone. Right. Oh, the on the Civic. And we're we're home. How about that? So, uh, so that's the end of my my milk run ride into my local town. I uh, I hope hope you liked it. I'm now going to review the footage on this selfie stick. Safe riding guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.